Meantime, there's growing outrage this morning tied to a controversial arrest in Ohio. Body cam video shows a canine officer unleashing a dog on an unarmed suspect after he appeared to surrender following a high-speed chase. NBC's Jesse Kirsch has that story. Hey, Jesse, good morning. Hoda, good morning. Despite our repeated attempts to get comment from Circleville police, so far they're not sharing any details about that incident with NBC News. According to the Columbus Dispatch newspaper, police here say they are reviewing the conduct of the canine officer involved. But it's not clear if he's still on active duty after that concerning scene, which was captured on camera. We want to warn you, the video you were about to see is disturbing. Do not, do not let them run. Don't release the dog. In this newly released police body camera video, you can hear a state trooper repeatedly warning a local officer. Do not release the dog with his hands up. But despite Jadarius D. Rose appearing to surrender to authorities, the canine officer still unleashed the dog on the unarmed black man. Get the dog off of it. In this edited body cam video released by the Ohio State Highway Patrol, the 23-year-old cries out as officers move in. State police say the disturbing July 4th incident outside Columbus, Ohio, came after an attempted traffic stop, with Rose driving this semi-truck, missing a left rear mud flap. Troopers chased Rose for nearly half an hour, repeatedly trying to deflate his tires before he finally pulled over and got out of the truck. According to officials, Rose called 911 himself before exiting the truck and raising his hands. Come to me! You go one bit! Come to me, man! That's when state police say a local Circleville, Ohio officer, Ryan Speakman, deployed his canine, which ran toward authorities before Speakman appeared to command the dog to specifically attack Rose. One state trooper walks away with her hands to her face, while the state trooper who initially warned not to use the dog asks... Was that not loud enough? You said it three, four more of time. <laughs> Police provided first aid to Rose, who was handcuffed. Just let a dog bite me. Authorities say Rose was treated at a local hospital and charged with failure to comply with order or signal of police officer. The Columbus NAACP's president says the video reminds her of dogs being unleashed on civil rights activists in the 1960s. And she believes this would not have happened if the driver was white. That an officer would unleash a dog on a black man that had his hands in the air and was on his knees. We were mortified by that behavior. The Columbus Dispatch quotes an area African American Heritage Association's leader as saying that trying, quote, to interject racial discord over this incident will not come from local citizens. We've reached out to Rose. He and his attorney are declining to comment with records showing that he has been released from jail. We've also reached out to Officer Speakman for comment, but we have not heard back. Hoda. All right, Jesse Kirsch for us on that. Jesse, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.